is this a futuristic thing? Uh, not that futuristic, because all the parts of this, this the development already exist. And uh, we will try to make a prototype in the hangar, outside the hangar, whenever we are able to fund it. But basically, this is, uh, for what we know, the only sustainable uh, and almost energy positive transport, uh, mass transportation system in the world. This is when we uh, say, okay, we are going from small for bigger and bigger. Well, okay, this is the bigger one. This is the one that you can put in an app over an avenue in a city. Uh, these are stainless steel uh, structure. Stair uh, it's a stereo structure, so it, 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 uh, it moves and doesn't race, which is good for earthquake and uh, all those problems. Uh, these two rails, these capsules, can carry up to 90 people in theater, so they are big. Uh, these capsules can travel in one direction, in these two rails, and in these two rails, in the other direction. These weights over here gives strength to the structure, but also works as bypass uh, for the capsules. Mm -hmm. So basically, when the capsule gets to the station, you can get out of the rail to get people on and then get back to the rail. This allows the capsule coming behind to go through and, don't, and doesn't need to, sp to, to wait. It's a big difference with trains. Uh, the solar panel and the wind generators in the columns are uh, store the energy in a one megawatt hour uh, device that is inside this column and uh, allows you to actually source the whole system. The system al also can be used as a backup uh, energy system for blackouts in, sy in cities. And, uh, and again, it's uh, cheap. Because it's much cheaper, it's less than half uh, what a metro costs, mm -hmm. and you can install one block every night, so it's much faster than a metro. Uh, it's really another thing. Uh, the crowdsourcing uh, team that started the development of the Hyperloop, uh, this Elon Musk idea, uh, find this structure the most intelligent structure to be the Hyperloop structure. So hopefully, now that they have the money, they will call us to work together. Oh, so this is the, 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 yeah, the capsules. Yeah, the Hyperloop is a high-speed capsule for long distance. Yeah, but, the, but these are for people. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Not yeah, for the other one is for people too. No, 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 but I mean, it's like you don't put a vehicle. You can. You can have a vehicle in there. There's four vehicles of ours. Okay. So why do we do that? Because for the, let's say that you're in LA and you have a game uh, when, when the Lakers were good. <laughs> in, the, in the best era of, Ke of Kobe Bryant <laughs> and you know that a lot of people is going to get out from there so you can send vehicles that are spread out the city by this system to that location and uh, obviously the other thing that you can do is that these capsules be in the bypass waiting the game to finish That's, uh, it's similar to the principle of the detachable uh, Cabins in the ski resort. There is a lot. Yes. Some of it yes. They, they, some well, of actually, the system was created to solve the problem of people being killed in those type of systems. That was the beginning of this development. Then it evolved to an urban environment. But the beginning of that was that. Because Miguel was uh, continually seeing these accidents in ski resorts, and he decided to create something that would solve the safety problem. But uh, we finally used it in urban environments. In an evolution of it. But this would also be a longer for the longer distances, a model like this. This is this is for massive transportation over avenues, for example, in five to eight mile range. So it's uh, not like the equivalent of going down mm -hmm. a longer freeway. Mm -hmm. It could be uh, because uh, one thing that we are studying is uniting capsules to get more speed. So if we can unite capsules and get more speed, we can cover longer distances, like. 100 miles or something like that, uh, expanding the urban environment actually in a in a in a, in a low cost way. What is the speed of the capsule? Well, now it's designed to be like 40 miles an hour uh, in uh, in urban environments, but uh, you can you can go much farther than that if you can unite capsules because of. Uh, uh, well, it's like a cable 
Japan, right? The side who has a cable and the Yeah, thing. but this is stainless steel, electric motors on the side, the, the capsule. Conventional transportation have uh, uh, transportation devices that go like this. Yeah. So this means you can go in that way or this way. When you move it this size, in this orientation, you can go anyway. So now this is also an elevator and gives you other capabilities. So for that, the cable is still supposedly just one speed, right? So for example, for example, some capsule we can definitely go to have some station and to stop. So that's the whole system to need to stop or we can... No, that's exactly why you get out of the rail. If you don't get out of the rail, you will stop and stop everybody. Uh -huh. You get out of the rail so the other capsule can go back and forth. And, uh, and you're not stopping them to do so. so what is the driving force? I mean, it's a kind of electromagnetic or... No, kind of now, at this moment, it's designed to be an electric motor with a... Motor, motor is attached wheel. to the vehicle, right? Sorry? The motor is attached to the vehicle? Or it's, it's a C-rail. It's a C-rail, the motor is attached to the vehicle, and it has a wheel that is contained oh, in the C-rail. Just like a cable. Just like yeah. a cable. Yeah, just okay. like a cable. So that's... Uh, going back and forth. Obviously, uh, there's some conversation now in NASA about using a maglev or something like that in the future uh, that will in increase the efficiency in, in energy, but today is high cost, so we, we keep it simple. So this idea actually um, came out of your your company's own idea? or Yes. Okay. Yeah, it was developed by us right there. and uh, totally by us. Right there. Right, right there. Right there. He's <laughs> oh, a cameraman. The cameraman. <laughs> An inventor man. He's a cameraman, you know. It's, he lost all, all of his career thinking of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you uh, have a, sorry, do you have a concrete plan on where you try to use that first? Well, we have been having big discussions about uniting uh, Castle with UC Merced campus, for example, and uh, through Bellevue. Mm -hmm. uh, other ideas uh, making here to uh, downtown. Mm -hmm. uh, LA County, actually, uh, the Metropolitan Transportation mm -hmm. of LA, uh, was speaking about connecting uh, cent, uh, cent, uh, what it's called, Central Station, Union Station, mm -hmm. Union Station to the uh, baseball. Uh, the Dodger Station. Yeah, the Dodger mm -hmm. Station. Mm -hmm. How about so connecting downtown to LA? That would be fantastic. Downtown to LAX was uh, not that. It was uh, actually connecting LAX to a public transportation station that is close to it, but not connected. That was one of the primary uh, potential uh, destinations of the system. It's uniting LAX to a community uh, transportation hub they have, like five miles from there. And it was stopped because of lobby from the transportation guy, the system, etc. That's why they stopped. I mean, uh, no, it, it stopped because we don't have a prototype to show. No, 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 no. Over there, the design, if you take a look, it makes no sense why they didn't continue. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They, in, in, the pa in the past, in the past it was something like that. that. Yeah, yeah, it was like stuff. stopping the taxi business or something like that, and, and they didn't make it. But now they want to connect it. So uh, this is pretty much what the developments were, uh, we have in our down road. Obviously, we are just focused on the little car right now. Mm -hmm. But I wanted you guys to see the whole story so we can start figuring out which things we can do together for the, to the future. So we already signed an agreement, a uh, wide agreement on research and development with the university. And we will start uh, looking out for some specific developments. And uh, might, we might uh, rather fund our own, or obviously we will look forward to look after grants together, uh, rather in the state or Washington or whatever. So we have the lobby firm that we are supporting with that, uh, but we can we can definitely have some uh, research and development uh, projects uh, that we can do together. So uh, any solution going in this direction, and there's a lot of things to be developed yet. Uh, we we are open to hear and to actually talk about it. Thank you very much. Okay. For your time.